I recently had a client who started with me a couple of years ago, and she decided that three days a week she wants to heal people through Jesus. And the beautiful thing about working with her, beyond the fact that she's a genius and completely accomplished and made 400000 in a weekend after we had one discussion, is that her life is hers now. She has complete time freedom. I'm Lindsay Wilson, and I'm going to show you things that you've never seen in this brief video. The level of profit that you are capable of and the amount of time that's required to create that is not about the hustle. The things that other people show you are ways that you can do your business if you'd like to. However, it's also very plausible to have a business like mine. I presently work two hours a week. I think I've taken about half the year off. And I have clients that are served at an extraordinarily high level. So grab your pen and paper. And this is a no fluff <laughs> video. I don't even have time for smoke and mirrors. And I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. The truth of the matter is that I know you. And I know probably you've got a seven figure business and a six figure salary and a team that drives you crazy and a launch schedule that exhausts you and a vacation maybe once or twice a year but no clear direction to get from where you are to where you really want to be. If you fast forward your business five years down the road, it's only more of the same. You've become a glorified CEO, and was that ever what you planned to be? So the change that is necessary here, I'm going to show you nuts and bolts wise, right? Exactly how we made like half a million from unpaid advertising with one video how to structure your offer, exactly what to say to get people to close paid in full into large programs. I'll give you all of that. But the thing that you most need to realize is this. The road you are traveling now will never give you a life where you are free. It's the same thing as somebody can go on a diet and they're eating all the carrots and they're jogging on the treadmill but then two months later, they're done eating the carrots, they're done on the treadmill, and they go back to being the way that they were. Versus someone who is completely ready for their life to change. I remember when I had a mentor who showed me his schedule, and it was like, he had like two calls a week. And I was like, I have two babies, and I am working like 60 hours a week, and I cannot figure out how to make more money, and I cannot figure out how to not pass my smallest child off to my mother on the way to the next scheduled call that I have. The change that needs to happen for you is at a fundamental level where you completely have to leave the way of thinking that you have in order to get free. So I'm going to show you the nuts and bolts, but I want to really make this very clear. If you are not willing to get unstuck, you should stop this video now because this will not be a valuable use of your time and it will not be a valuable use of mine. If you are someone who knows that they're already ready to be free, you're welcome to click the link and I will show you a path that will take you exactly from the business that you have right now with all of those questions about what, all, what do I do with all the clients that I already have? I have a launch planned, I have an affiliate calendar, right? Like, what do I do with my team? My husband is really angry at me, right? Like, what do I do with my dog? We'll show you how to do all of that with huge grace and ease. And if you know that you're ready to change, I am so ready to help you. So first point is this. And I think, should I say this is the first point? Because it's really gonna like, this is the thing that no one wants to do, so it probably should be my third point, but I'm gonna save getting how to people, how to have people pay in full and how to tell you that at the end, because I really want you to get each of these points. So first point is this, your offer. The truth is that you probably have enough existing clients and people on your list already to have a profit level like we do. I have no team. I mean, I have someone who shoots video. I have someone who did my makeup, right? Um, somebody brought us cappuccino before we started shooting today. But I don't have a VA. I don't have Anyone that I'm managing that drives me nuts, I don't have salaries that I pay. I don't have um, supports. Like, that's, uh, that's not why I got into this business, right? Instead, I have an offer that when I first started to give it, scared the bejeepers out of me. Now, this is not to say that
that you need to go high end. I have plenty of people, I have a client who sold a thousand dollar product, did a half a million dollar launch, and she is not interacting with anyone because that's the life that she wants. So you do not need to put together your offer in the way that I have, but here's the thing that I will tell you. Even beyond the fact that you are time strapped and profit poor, the problem with your life is that to a certain degree, you've sold out. You're not doing what you came here for. You're not serving at your highest level. You're a bit dissatisfied with your current business as it is. And even if you make all of the money that you want to make, your soul is not going to be satisfied. So your offer needs to be what you were born to do. Think of the people who've had profound impact on your life, right? Mother Teresa didn't phone it in, right? Martin Luther King Jr. didn't decide, maybe I'll sell like soda products instead, right? I'm a, I've got a good speaking voice, right? Or maybe I'll just stay in ministry even, yes? So you really want to think about what is the biggest transformation that I can provide? And do I want to do that on a regular basis, right? So for instance, I know I've saved a lot of people's lives. I would not want to do that day in or day out, right? And I don't want cash for that either, right? I think I probably ultimately, interestingly, have clients who say that I've saved their lives, but it's not the, the shingle that I put out for people to come to me for. So think about what gives you deep satisfaction to do on a regular basis, right? And I have two children, so my business is an example of what works in terms of lifestyle for me, right? When my children are older, maybe I will do a business saving people's lives. However, you need to put that together in an offer, and then you need to take that transformation, and you need to be paid appropriately for it. I know the kind of people who resonate with me, and I know that what's happening for you is this. You're afraid to charge higher prices. You're afraid if you ask for higher prices that people will call you a fraud, or there's one client who didn't get results once, and you're afraid of having that thing happen again. I know that it's easier to hide and stay small. And I know that if we consulted with your inner 12 year old or your inner 16 year old or whoever it was that had big dreams for you, she would be embarrassed about what you're doing right now. Your latest PDF MP3 thousand dollar product is not what you came here to do. And so the beauty of it is this, that if you get brave, if you offer what you're really intended to offer, if you receive what that truly is worth, like if I save somebody's life, what's that worth to them? Like ask my children what it's worth to them if you saved my life. So once priced appropriately, once you're offering the thing that you're really born to offer, the beauty of it is this, People at that level don't want your time, right? My clients, I had somebody who sold a million bucks in a day from three sentences I typed in a Facebook group, right? Now, obviously, she has the goods. It wasn't just like three sentences like, go sell this, <laughs> right? She obviously had courage, right? And had content, right? But it wasn't even content that got sold. And so she didn't want six sentences from me. She didn't want to like come hang out at my house in Hawaii for nine years, right? She simply wanted to get to the place where she could be serving people at a really high level, which she was, totally lit her on fire, and then to be able to make that amount of profit. The amount of profit in that was tremendous too. There was no paid advertising, right? Like it was very sweet and simple. So the kinds of results that you can create by having an offer when you're doing what you're meant to do are the kinds of results that you want to be creating. If I charge someone, and please know, I was horrific at sales. I was commissioned sales when I was in my 20s when I started, and I would turn people away. I could not accept cash. The sweet people at Mind Valley, who I have a product with, say that I have the highest converting sales program for coaches now. It has been a long road, yes? But if you take a substantial amount of income from someone, I know that you have integrity and I know that you have the gifts that will absolutely transform people's lives. 
So your fear that says someone's been asked for a refund or whatever else, it's just your fear. Are you buying into that? Next. We want to think about your marketing, yeah? So after I had my second baby, I had no idea how to get clients. I had, like, I didn't want to network. I'm a bit of an introvert. I didn't want to put on high heels, and I was not. I'd waited for these children my whole life. I was 40, right? And I cannot even tell you how much I love them. So I started to learn ways to stay at home and be able to call my own shots. How often are you actually calling the shots in your business? I teach people how to have marketing where you can turn it on or off based on whether you want to be on sales calls or whether you want to have a sales team that's on sales calls, right? We did one video that took 22 minutes to make. It was a 20 minute video, sold a million. And if you looked, this is sort of embarrassing. I have clients in the room, so I'm thinking, oh my gosh. It was like, I have PMS, I'm turning it off this week. I don't want to do sales calls, right? Like the baby is potty training. I don't want to do sales calls, let me turn it off. So I just gave a big speech about how you need to keep your marketing on all the time. And the truth is, it's so erratic when we've had that video on and off. And the beauty of it also is that it has stood the test of time. And even yesterday in our mastermind, I realized something else that I can do with it to bring in sales. So this idea that you need to be constantly coming up with some new crazy thing and hire 58 like web funnel, like graphic, you can do that if that's like your deepest desire, but I know you and I know that that's not true. And I know that the world needs you. And I know the world needs you not to be sitting dissatisfied with some graphic designer and complaining to your husband about it, right? So you want to create marketing we like to call it marquee marketing behind the scenes, that will last as long as humanly possible. Prior to this video, we had one ad that was up for three years that consistently sold a 36K program over and over and over again. And it fit my life, right? There were no live events, though I certainly had a business that was based on live events before. I sat at home in my flip-flops with my children, and people were really well served. So. If you think about putting together an offer that really is at your highest level and you really receive well for it, I sometimes say you want to think about if you're a fisherman or a fisherwoman, if you don't have hooks in the water, it's really hard to catch fish, right? So once you've got that beautiful offer, then you have to figure out a way to catch those fish. So let me even be super specific on this because this is stuff that nobody else will hear and, and you really want to hear this, right? So. Yes, we do things like license IP, we do things like profit shares with, with some marketing partners, right? So things that are completely out of the box. So you really want to think completely out of the box because you're not an in the box kind of person and you're never going to get to genius being in the box, right? Like you don't fit that form anyway. How many things like that have you tried that didn't work? Yeah? So what we did is certainly we did paid advertising with it, it worked really well sold more to cold leads than it did to warm leads, right? People wouldn't even watch the whole video and get on the phone and sign up for a year thing in tears with me. And so I can, you know, sign up for a call, we'll show you exactly how, I don't have time to tell you all of that right now. The other thing though that we did was, it's, it's so fun to like share the truth about things also because it's stuff that I've never really shared. So I have friends that have huge mailing lists, right? People I adore and I know what they want, right? And I have never done the affiliate thing. I just am not interested in that. So I would send emails and I'd say, hey, if I give you some of what you want, right, could you send this video that converts really well out to your list? And people would say, of course, and we would give them a cut. And I'll tell you what, they'd send it out that week. People that you would not even dream of that would email for me, right? And nobody gave me permission and I didn't wait to ask for it. And so, I will even bonus you the emails that people sent if you sign up for the link. Because it's absolute freedom. Imagine being able to, I mean, you can hire someone if you want to, to just, I mean, if it's friends, do you need to even send five emails? I think we sent three and three people said yes. So it's not the time investment. Your value is not based on your time. It just is not. And as a good friend says, you're never getting the time back. You can always make more money, but you can never get more time. So why the heck are you sitting there sending out 50 emails when you could send out five? Like, why are you spending all of your time thinking about podcasting when you haven't sold anyone through that? Right? So 
you've got your offer, you've got marketing, and there are a multitude of ways to market, right? I think the thing that you want to think of is instead of it being a particular source, you just sort of want to do Jedi marketing. With our video, we'd hired like the best people in the business, God bless them, and they were doing their best, and they got 48 ads denied. I was so frustrated in five minutes, I accidentally typed in all caps, and there we had a million dollar video, right? So there is some strategy. It's not as enlightened as just, oh, Lindsay has magical fingers. It's like, I know conversion, yes? And I'm happy to show you conversion. With my clients, I'm like, here is the template to get it to convert. You don't need to learn why the yellow box goes there. You don't need to learn, right, like well, why we use a certain software. So if you follow a high converting plan though, right, my business boils down to basically a video every once in a while, an application page, and the third thing on our list today, which is an ability to close. Now, I know that you're thinking, I have a sales team, I don't wanna close. I never wanna be on a sales call again in my life. I hear you, I never wanna be on a date again in my life either, and I won't. However, if you cannot close, your sales team will have the same objections that you have. You must understand the mechanisms of how sales works, why people are drawn to you, and why people do not buy from you. Because it goes into all of your marketing, right? Your doubt about yourself is absolutely in your yellow box on your sales page. People feel it, see it, know it. So once you've got the architectural view of what your marketing looks like, it needs to flood down into sales. The reason that these videos convert well for us, quite frankly, is it's a sales conversation. If you get on the phone, guess what I'm gonna to talk to you about? You need a better offer, <laughs> right? It, because it's truth, the truth, it, it, you don't even, I wish we could take the word sales out of it because the word sales still feels icky to me. But like we were talking about in the live mastermind yesterday, this is simply about conversion. If I'm Buddha, I don't know if Buddha converted people, right? But that process of bringing people to belief, of bringing people to a new place, of bringing people to a place beyond where they believe is possible for them, that's what you need as sales. Do you have that in your business? I can tell you 98 things about what to do with your sales team. Smartest thing is you should hire three people at once. One will definitely quit or get pregnant or something, right? And break your heart just a little bit. I was in sales forever. I've broken probably a lot of people's hearts. <laughs> One will rise to the top because they're competitive as all get out, right? Give that person a cut. Let them manage your team. Your amount of time that you're spending frustrated with people who can't sell is, I'm just gonna say it, is you hiding from sales. There is nothing so pleasurable as getting on the phone with someone who's an ideal client of mine and taking them from a place of disbelief to a place of power and belief in their ability to do something now and next. It's almost more pleasurable than coaching in some ways. Let me give you my best tip that's happened in the past couple of years. And you know, I've been doing it for 25 years. 50 million's gone through my hands, right? So I would go toe to toe with anybody in sales. The, the beauty of what I teach is it's just truth and integrity because those things are always gonna trump everything else and you know it. So when you're in a sales conversation, because what you're looking for is not more sales. Honestly, if I doubled your sales right now, you would still have a cranky VA. You still wouldn't spend your free time on the weekends boating. You still would be cranky about the same things. You're, do you know what I mean? Like, if we get really real, if we get really self-responsible, my sweet friend Kirk says to me, you really get what you want. So on some level, you want the business that you have. You wanna be that busy. You wanna be that profit poor. You're afraid of being bigger and doing more or whatever that might be. I won't name it for you, right? You can choose yourself. So the truth in closing, right? And the thing that we've started to do in the past couple of years is this. I ask people at some point in the sales conversation, what do you do when you're resistant? Because I'm asking A, to find out if I wanna work with them, because I certainly do not work with everyone. I could spend time with my kids. Secondarily, if they say, well, I disappear, 
then you say, awesome. And I mean, just tell your salespeople to do this. It will give you customer satisfaction beyond belief. Say, so can we call you on it when you disappear? Now, they're probably going to say yes. And that gives you so much possibility in terms of getting results from them. Because they're going to disappear. The sales call is going to be great. They're going to start your program. It's going to rock. And then they're going to do what they always do. And you're going to end up with a life where you're sort of serving people and people are sort of excited to be with you and you've got a couple of success stories, but you're not really changing the world. The tip on how to close people and to pay in full, which is something quite frankly that I could not do. I had a sale, I'm just gonna be honest, I had a salesperson and she would get on the phone with applicants that I thought, I don't know if they'll buy or not. I'm gonna go to the park with my kids. Let's see, it's 50-50. She'd come back and she'd be like, they paid in full and I would be like, I don't even think this person had cash. Like, did they rob a bank? Like, what the heck happened here? And I thought, if she can sell, I like want to look at my clients, if she can sell these things for me, why can't I sell these things for me? So let me give you the exact words, because action is the great healer. We could all sit around and process this and mindset this and therapize all of this for 92 years, but I'm going to tell you what's going to change your life is simply saying these words on a call, and somebody's going to give you a big amount of cash, and how your life feels from that mountaintop is radically different than the stuck place you are. So here's a little miracle for you. When someone says, okay, I'll join your whatever they're joining, right? And I would recommend revolving enrollment, because then you don't have to do launches. I would recommend groups. People change faster in groups, right? My two hours of deliverables are groups. It's so easy. So when they say, sure, I'll take it. Give them the option for your monthly payment or your payment plan or whatever it is that you're comfortable getting, right? The last thing you want to do on a sales call is sound scared. After they say, okay, great, I'll do the whatever a month, just pause for a moment and say, we also have paid in full plans if you'd like to hear about that. Or paid in full discount. You could even make it a bit sexier. The people who want it will say, discount? Awesome, right? If I go to the grocery store and I've got all my groceries there and the clerk says, hey, do you want to hear about the painful discount for all these groceries? I don't care if it's 30 bucks or like 3 million. Of course I do, yes? So the people who can afford it will say yes and you'll say, awesome. So it's this much if you pay in full and you can give them a bonus if you want to. You can take 20% off if you want to. Whatever you like to do, right? And the people who can afford it, who doesn't? I'll take 20% off of like a $2 thing. <laughs> so it doesn't offend them. It doesn't cause anyone to not purchase what you're selling. And let me reiterate again, the cool thing about this is this. You have clients that are all in. So when they want to hide and you say, hey, I see that you're hiding, they remember that they've paid for the full year or the full program and they actually came to get results. And so instead of it being about you and you didn't teach this piece of the curriculum or Thursday your kid got sick or you don't like them, they go, I just talked to my husband about this and he expects me to get results because I paid for this whole freaking thing so I might as well go all in, right? So the quality of life that you have, most of us have, I can't believe I'm going to say it, but it's true. Most of what is the industry norm is a business that's set up on artifice, right? Is that the way that you say it? It's, oh, look at me, I've got this big seven-figure business, right? Oh, life's a party, this is so much fun, look at my pretty swimming pool. And I've got clients that are paying nominal amounts on a monthly basis, that are grumpy and that are quitting all the time. And because they haven't fully committed to it, they're not getting fabulous results. And I'm spending most of my time as like middle management. None of you got in this business to be middle management. And the travesty, and why I care about this is this, on your deathbed, you are never going to think, I really wish I had managed a bigger team. Your children are never going to think, wow, I wish that my parent had managed a bigger team. Right? So. I think that about covers it. If you want to get on the phone, I will show you exactly how to take exactly what you have, because I've been in your shoes and had no idea how to change it, and transform it into freedom. All it requires from you, this is crazy, but it's true, is a choice, right? If I decide today is the day that I'm losing weight, carrots and bicycles, you better get out of my way, right? It's about commitment. It's about choice. 
And so I get that at the moment, you're stuck. You've chosen to be overworked, I was you, right? I worked 90 hours a week when I started my business. I worked, I've worked harder than most people I know, right? I worked in real estate, I'd be up till five in the morning. Like my hourly rate at that point was like $1.22 if you broke down how many hours I was working. But I can free you. I know it would be a travesty for me not to show you how to do that. So I double dog dare you to click the link and get free. Your family, your future, your exhaustion, and the people who need you that you're never going to get to will thank you for it. I can't wait for you to join me.